Last year, 2,000 people took on the vertical climb known as Truck Up the Tower. There could only be two winners, and here they are, Nikki Perry and Ivan Marsh. Well, he's here this morning alongside Rebecca Vinton, the president and CEO of Wellcom. Cassandra Zywick joins us from Whole Foods Market. It's nice to see you. Welcome back, and nice to meet you, Ivan. Good you are you. like the king of this event, and we'll talk about how you do it, but I'd like to first connect the dots for our viewers, Rebecca. Um, Wellcom, the Wellness Council of the Midlands, and Truck Up the Tower, how are these two things related? So Wellcom is a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. We've been around for almost 35 years, and we teach and train businesses on how to set up wellness programs at the work site to create that culture that supports all employees and whatever, whatever behavior change they want to make and just feel more appreciated and valued at the workplace. So is this event something then for your members only or can regular, like they say, I don't I don't work for a Wellcom member, but I want to be part of Truck Up the Tower. They can. Anybody can participate. Mm -hmm. It's a physical activity event and it's held at First National, yes. which is the most recognizable business really in the downtown skyline mm -hmm. here in Omaha. So we thought what better way to represent our mission than to have a physical activity event at First National mm -hmm. Tower. So Ivan, when, when this event started, you were the first winner and then um, the second and the third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth <laughs> ninth so you you are the only male to win this event Correct. how do you go into the tenth to keep that streak alive I uh, just do what I normally do I run five to ten miles every day but Starting in about January, I try to run a thousand stairs mm. every every day. Mm -hmm. Your um, time last year was at 4:41. If yeah, I recall, 4:40. Have you have you improved on it every year? Uh, no, I think we said a couple of years ago I ran a 4:15. Mm -hmm. so. Do do the other competitors know you when you show up? Does your yeah. reputation <laughs> precede you? Yeah, when I get in line, I ask who's going to get second today. Uh -huh. so, yeah. <laughs> and everybody knows. Okay, well this guy's serious. I mean, he's the only one who's managed to win so far. Um, and so you were talking about your, your exercise regimen. Mm -hmm. Nutritionally, what do you do? I like eat a know, lot of pizza and drink beer. You, seriously, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> There's no room for a sense of humor on this. I'm just kidding. Um, do you, I mean, sometimes runners will do the carb thing. And um, Do you follow a diet the few days leading up to the event? Uh, nothing real strict. Mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriend feeds me a lot of vegetables, so mm -hmm. that might help. Okay, so. keeps you mean yeah. and lean. <laughs> um, but there's also a product here that we have that um, I know you sell it at Whole Foods, Cassandra, but Ivan, why do you turn to this? I'm looking, uh, it's a cough drop, but how does this help you during Truck Up the Tower? Well, um, afterwards, um, when you're in the stairwell, it's really dry and your lungs and throat are just burning. Mm -hmm. So, I, don't know, I think the second year, I was like, eh, see if these cough drop you know, help me out, and they, they worked and they well. Did. Yeah, I feel like so. sales of this now that the secret's out. <laughs> Sandra, you better have a lot of these. So where do we It'll find them stocked. in the store, right? You, you go to our whole, whole body department, and we'll have them there for you. <laughs> and you'll find them there. Uh, this isn't the extent of why you're here today. I know That's the right. day of the event, you'll be making sure that competitors right. are fueled adequately. What exactly. did you bring in? Well, so just like you fuel yourself before a race, you have to fuel yourself after the race mm -hmm. to give yourself some recovery. So we put together our 365 Everyday Value uh, low-fat vanilla yogurt, just plain frozen berries. It's our mixed berry blend. Uh -huh. um, and a little classic organic granola on top that everybody loves. I have so many people yes. comment, I do this race because I love the parfait at the end. <laughs> um, and then a banana so you get your potassium and then some electrolyte water as mm -hmm. well, just so you're replenished and you can um, feel good after you've mm. left your race. That granola mix is so good. So Rebecca, um, while I eat my breakfast, since I haven't had any yet yeah, today. Yeah, go for it. Um, this event, something too that stands out to me, is not a story like Ivan's, but also when we have our local heroes, our firefighters and police officers mm -hmm. who do this event. Are you going to see them back again this year? Yes, and actually we're having a firefighter challenge. So mm -hmm. we have up to five different departments um, that will be competing actually this year. So they go up in full gear tank. I think we decided it weighs about 40 pounds oh, to wow. wear the full gear and with the oxygen. they do the entire tower with their gear on. They do, and we have to be careful not to start Ivan too quickly because mm -hmm. sometimes he will pass people in the stairwell so but it is amazing to watch all these uh, community remarkable. heroes enter the stairwell in full gear and, mm. and, and everything it's amazing you know, a lot of people every year they they know about this event and then you write the calendar changes over and they say I want to do this I want to give it a shot yes. so speak to the first timers about what they need to do to register for it they can register at trekupthetower.org and the biggest 
bit of advice, and I'm still waiting for Mike to sign up. Every uh -huh. year he says he's going to do yeah, it. We you haven't can't seen believe him anything yet. He says slow <laughs> and steady, slow and steady. Yeah. A lot of people start out too quickly, so we say just start out quickly. But you don't have to be uh, Ivan Marsh to compete or mm -hmm. to participate. You can be anybody of any fitness level mm -hmm. to participate in the event. So trekupthetower.org. Uh, until all the spots are filled. So what are the winners and everybody else? <laughs> what are those who can be get? They get a nice medal at the top. Mm -hmm. This year is a rock and roll theme, so we're going to have some fun music going on. Uh -huh. um, they get a towel, they get the wonderful breakfast from Whole Foods, and just, I think, bragging rights that they've been yeah. able to climb the, the tower. So where do you keep all of your medals, Ivan? Uh, I, I hang them up proudly in my living room. Do you really? <laughs> I was just kidding yeah. about that too. <laughs> no. um, your your goal for this year, if 441 was it last year, what are your expectations in oh, this milestone year? Yeah, I always try to improve on how I did last year and mm -hmm. maybe even try to break my record. That's always the goal. So. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I mean, guys, if you start looking at the times of where these finishers who can do it in five and a half minutes, that's amazing. To think about you doing it at 441, it blows the mind. Let's get you back to registering, though, if you want to join Ivan and 2,000 other people at Trek Up the Tower. When you mention the morning blend, call that number there. Say, I saw Rebecca and company on the show. I'd like to save the $10. Um, and right away, they'll knock that off registration. The event is coming on February 20th. And this isn't something where there's a deadline to get signed up, but they do have to cap it at a certain number. So once they get there, then it's full and there's nothing they can't shoehorn you in. So the website, trekupthetower.org. Cassandra, it's great to have you here. Thank you for breakfast. Rebecca, good to see you. Thanks, and Ivan, all the best Thank on you. your 10th straight victory. Well,